Turn down your volume for a more relaxing experience. Retards. Dude, I recently discovered that there is a there's two now two videos. I saw one last night. I saw one on the subreddit today. There's like a listen to Wubby while you sleep uh, compilation thing that people are making. That is bizarre to me. And also, I I also got a little emotional about it because I remember I used to listen to Game Grumps when I would sleep when I need to fall asleep for work in the morning, and I would play Game Grumps just while I fell asleep. And I'm like, bro, there are people now. Not a lot of people, but there are people who do that with my content. It actually, I legit also felt kind of bad. Cause I was like, I peek all the time. I scream all the time. I was watching it and I was telling a story about my diabetic brother. And I'm like, who is falling asleep to this? I'm sitting there telling a story about my diabetic brother. And I just picture a few thousand people in their beds like, oh. <laughs> It's so weird, dude! But like, I get it also, because I did it with Game Grumps, so I, I guess I get it. Watch this be a segment on the next one. Wake up! Don't sleep! You're anxious! Work, bills, love life! You'll never fall asleep again! This isn't normal! I, I really, this stream is not designed to to be falling asleep too so it blows my mind people do it all right before we get started i need to address that song i played you guys need uh, an answer on that so uh i'm gonna read you this reddit post we don't talk about current events some of you know most of you should know but some of you don't and this is the current event that one of the only ones we're gonna talk about ever all right i'm gonna read this to you guys you ready this is a today i fucked up post that uh has gone viral in a way i have not seen on uh, read it in a very long time. This has a hundred and six thousand upvotes. No reading ahead, okay? You have to let me read it to you. If you read ahead, you're banned. A little backstory. Today I fucked up. My my 20 female girlfriend of two years told me that the music that I, 25 male, played during sex is weird and a major turnoff. So that sucks. You never want to hear that, boys. I'm sure some of you guys are going to find this relatable. When I first started having sex, I researched into ways to be better as I was a little stiff and pretty much had no idea what I was doing. I I am not trying to toot my own horn here, but there's, oh, I did have a wet dream recently. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I've never like looked up how to have sex. I feel like you just have a bunch of bad sex and over the years you get better at it. It's not like, I, I feel like, I, how do you even watch a tutorial on sex? Isn't that just like, at, at what point does it become porn? But you should, I don't know. I feel like you just have bad sex till you don't, right? So I'm still having bad sex, like I was saying. I read online that you can play music and match the rhythm in order to put on a better performance. Okay, real quick. This is actually why I can't listen to music when I have sex. Okay, so once or twice uh, every six years, I do uh, uh, find someone to lay with. Um, and d during those rare events of mine, uh, I've noticed that when I put music on, I get way too in my head with like the BPM. And then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'll start naturally matching it. And then all I can think about is, oh no, she can tell I'm matching it. Oh no, we're not thinking, we're just thinking about the music now. And now, now I swear to God, my brain goes, okay, it's like Guitar Hero. And if I don't hit the note, she's gonna be thinking about it too. Because God knows I'm autistic and God knows the woman allowing me to lay is autistic. So like, if I'm not hitting the notes perfectly, I feel like she knows, I feel like I know. Hit the whammy bar. What's the whammy bar? Is that her clit? What do you mean? I searched lovemaking songs and started slowly creating a playlist. I was comfortable matching the rhythm. See that, I'm sorry, that right there is taking this a little too far in my opinion. You're making sex like scheduled. Like I have this playlist I go through. I'm just giving you guys some advice from a man who, you know, I mean, look at me. There are a few songs to my playlist, however. There is one song in particular, which actually happens to be my favorite, that my girlfriend hates and says turns her off in a major way. I don't understand why it has taken her two years to tell me she hates the song. It's a good lovemaking song with a good rhythm. I feel the way I fucked up is I could have possibly asked her previously if she likes to play. No shit, dude. 
two fucking years or any song she'd like to add or change that's also kind of weird ladies i question for you genuinely if a dude had a mix on a cd that he required playing during sex no matter what isn't that like already no matter what's on the playlist kind of a turn off and then I can't even imagine how much weirder it is. He's like, hey, we've been together for a while now. I'm, I'm actually interested in your input. Like, what the fuck? That's so... Anyway, okay. But to leave it for two years thinking our sex life is great, but it, that is actually really sad for both of them. But in her eyes, it has just been ruined by my music, has left the whole situation awkward, and I'm a bit annoyed. I only listen to my own voice. Ugh. Okay, you're like the dude from uh, American Psycho, just staring at yourself in the mirror. I pretty much played this tune every single, <laughs> pretty much played it every single time. So the amount of time she must have not been enjoying it, when I thought the complete opposite is annoying, but it's also embarrassing, dude. It's so bad. Not to mention my previous partners. However, they never complained about the song, so maybe it's just her. This man has been borderline assaulting women for years for years bro wait same playlist every time right that is so odd also i feel like it's i would be a little maybe i'm insecure i'll lead with that maybe i'm insecure but if i was if i was having sex with a woman and she busted out a cd and i later found out like that's the cd she hooks up to everyone with i'd be like maybe make a custom mixtape for me I don't know. Maybe I'm insecure, but that that weirds me out too. It's like you have one CD. I don't know. Yeah, maybe put some custom tracks on there. Shuffle a bit. It's fucked up the relationship, to be honest, because sex feels awkward now. The other day we were having sex with no music, but I was still thrusting to the tune. This man is Pavlovian condition, bro. He he cannot stop. He has broken his rhythm. Do you recognize this and? Ask me to stop. I'm telling you right now, first off, someone asks you to stop, you stop instantly. So don't twist my words here. That being said, I, I'm pretty sure if for whatever reason you ever get asked to stop, I in that moment want to fold up into a little origami until I explode out of existence. I would prefer just throwing myself out of the nearest window when that happens. This poor guy. Good, stop, not stopping is not an, an option. You stop instantly. But in that moment, it's like, oh my God, I wanna die. Just keep my penis. I'm not gonna need it ever again. You just need to stop. Yeah, when she says stop, what I really want to happen is for me to materialize out of the room and be like 30 minutes in the past. There's an update. We'll get to the update, boys. We'll get to the update. That's actually why I'm talking about this today because I don't know the update. I thought the song was perfect and I thrust along with the tune and feel it gives me the perfect rhythm for doing the deed. I'm, I, maybe I'm bad at intercourse and that's a fair, that's a probability. Uh, but I feel like being so on beat is not natural. Shouldn't, there, shouldn't it be more free form, right? It's not a routine, it's not a recital. Isn't it more of like a, like, okay, I'm, I'm in the zone. Here's that moment. Here's that moment. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, where's your feet going? Uh-oh, you're taking a shit. I usually bust, oh, Jesus. I usually bust to this song and find it devastating that she hates it. That, those are some, like, strong terms. Uh, and then, because I know some of you are just now joining us, and this is the most important part of this, here is the song in question. I'm not gonna play the whole thing this time. This song, the playing this song has what caused it caused this thread to go so viral. I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's so bad. This poor woman. <laughs> War crimes, literal war. Cr what part does he sing to? I think it's like this, like, like, uh, 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 uh. I hope. I, what else are you singing to? Too long didn't read here at the bottom. She hates my love making tunes and didn't tell me for over two years, making sex now awkward. So, okay, what's my opinion on this? Why else would I talk about it without giving an opinion? So real quick, I don't, I do not know the update. I've been told there's an update that we will read. Okay. Um, 
What's my opinion on this? The du- I, I, I'm not trying to be mean here. I feel like the dude probably doesn't pick up on all social cues. Uh, he is 20, so he's very young. Or no, he's 25. This human being is, is cr- criminally autistic. Uh, I'm not saying there's no hope for him. I think I saw a video of the guy, by the way. He posted a TikTok of what he looks like. I just want you to, I just want you to close your eyes and picture what this human being looks like. And you probably have it skinny, lanky dude with like, I think he had like a scruffy ponytail, literal, literal Redditor. I'm sorry. One of them was gumping it for real, for real. No, I'm going to come turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Oh, one of the Reddit comments was like, it sounds like a, a, like telekinetic dolphins trying to communicate. And I can't unhear that either. Oh my God. A clown car honking in traffic. Yes, dude. I was humming it like that around the house okay and booty like went into fight or flight when i was doing that i was walking around the house doing that and he's in the kitchen and he's like do you hear that what is that and i'm like i'm i said song i'm making the noise in my mouth and he's like oh i thought it was someone like trying to get in or something (laughs) he's like i don't know why that scared me so much i'm like bro you have no idea why this is so much funnier (laughs) two years but she's 20. Yeah, he did. Okay, let's be honest. <laughs> maybe it wasn't, maybe it was a little more than two years. I will say a little kind of reaching there. He, that means he was 23 when she was 18. What do you do with an 18 year old when you're 23? Sex? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's yet at the point of creepy. I, I think there's some scenarios. I'm not going to judge, right? This man will be in his late 20s by the time they can finally get a drink together my ex was 23 when i was 18 but you sophie you just you proved my your ex you proved my point be fucking bored i don't i don't think i'd be able to get along with an 18 year old past like initial like hey what's up i don't know what like hey excited for college i don't even what do you even talk to an 18 year old about you can't The best way to talk to people for me, someone who's really anxious like me, is to, like, go have a drink. I can't, like, oh, I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese and you can blow me? Like, what? I don't even know what you do. I just turned 30 and I don't date under 25. I I, I think that's smart as fuck. You don't know who you are when you're, like, 20, 21, 22, 23. You have a new personality every year. I'm just now falling into, like, maybe I'm this person. But, like, even then, I'm like, eh, I I could still do a flip in my 30s. We have an update. This was posted 11 hours ago. No way! Okay, I just heard the title for the first time, bro. No, sh- this can't be real. Today I fucked up by posting on Reddit about our sex life with Seabat, that's the name of the song, and now our relationship has ended. Bro! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, let's read. How did this happen? All right. Uh, This exploded more than I expected, and it's been a bit overwhelming with the messages, but I thought I'd give an update. Thank God. The attention hasn't been positive, and this hasn't been the best thing to happen for my relationship, and now it's sadly ended. That's a really funny way of wording this, huh? I didn't expect it to blow up so much. I should have used an anonymous name instead of my real name. Wait, his... Oh my God, his real name is Tyler. This guy didn't even use a fucking throwaway, bro. That is such an L. That is the exact kind of person who would play that song during. Uh, And our real ages. Oh, my God. They probably got doxxed so fast. There aren't many 25-year-old Tyler. Wait, his last name is Life? Oh, my God. His Reddit account is his full legal name. Bro, Tyler's in this world, they most of the time retarded. I'm sorry, Tyler. I knew a Tyler who was smart. Okay. But legitimately, he died in a car accident. So I, I feel like that was God trying to make the world right. Unfortunately, her younger sister rec- Oh, no. Her younger sister recognized this and showed it to her parents. Younger sister kind of a bitch. I'm sorry. Younger sister kind of, Who does that? Oh, I found this post. Mom, look. The f- Who does shit like that? Her parents uh, weren't happy at all and made the situation extremely awkward. What What do the parents have any horse in that race? I'm sorry. You're, <clears throat> you're unhappy about your daughter's 
lackluster sex life. What made it more awkward and cemented the fact that it was me is that they, oh my God, they recognized the song. Once at a family dinner, we were discussing music tastes and my ex-girlfriend stated that I have an odd taste in music. Everyone laughed and pressed me to play something from my phone of what I like as music, to which I then blessed their ears with sea bad. No! Come on! Her father laughed and said it was terrible. I guess we all have different tastes, although I nodded in agreement at the time. I was thinking in my head that this is a great fucking song. Or a great... A great fucking song? Or a great fucking song? This is devastating. <laughs> we are over now, and I'm <clears throat> moving on. I already revealed my face on TikTok, but the, with the amount of hate I originally got, I decided I didn't have it and backtracked. Or I, des I decided to say I didn't have it, whatever. This guy really... I'm sorry, but the way this guy writes makes me anxious. I don't think the song is that bad, <clears throat> and I had no idea she didn't like it until recently, and as soon as I did, I stopped. I didn't force her see bat. Not all can handle CBAT. I know it's different. This is him right now kind of addressing the fact that everyone's like, bro, you abused this girl. I said it absolutely jokingly, but it is so funny that he feels he has to address it. I know a lot have asked for a face reveal on a playlist. My playlist I actually burned onto a CD and have been using my CD player. That's where that comes from. But I'll go on YouTube. Okay, hold on. That's actually like really unhinged behavior. When I'm, I, I kind of brushed past that, but I'm realizing now that is like, that is so crazy. Who, who is, who, who burns? I can't even, I can't even handle that. Who burn? Do, do kids in my chat, people like teenagers, and do teenagers in my chat even really know what that, have you ever even burned a CD? Do you even know what that is? My friend burned me a, a CD in middle school. And it was the first music I ever got to listen that wasn't like sanctioned by my parents. And it had Green Day on it and it had All American Rejects on it and it had My Chemical Romance. And I was so fucking badass in school. And um, my friend handed it off to me like it was a drug deal, bro. I was like, don't let your parents see this shit goes hard, bro. They're not ready for American idiot. Dude, computers today don't even come with disk drives. I, my current computer, which was like my dream build that I got to make all the components for i didn't cho i i could afford and i chose not to get a disk drive that should tell you oh is this the playlist hold on i have to check it out Spiders chat he called it love time it's a short okay hmm i'm a little concerned Maybe. because the playlist is only uh 13 videos and if we do the math here probably about a half an hour of sex music that is not a lot of music to have as the only rotation uh, for every sexual encounter you've had for the last like five years. Okay, I wanna be very clear. A anyone in chat going, that's not long enough for one session. You're lying, you're fucking lying, okay? The world ain't porn, dude. Sex don't last an hour unless you want some sicko shit, which happens, yes, okay, but not ever. Listen, okay, you've clearly never lived with a woman if you think sex is an hour, all right? You have, listen, I, Ain't nobody got time after an eight-hour shift for an hour of sex unless it's like once in a while, all right? When my dick is out and in, we got like 47 seconds, okay? I'm gonna make a statement here, okay? And you're gonna shut up. An average sex with someone you're in a relationship in, okay? Ain't gonna take like 45 minutes. That just ain't, what do you, what do you mean? What are y'all doing? Okay? What are you talking about? You're wasting time, bro. This person ain't going anywhere. They live right there. When I want to last longer, I think about when my grandma shit herself. Dog, you need to shut up. On average, this 30 minute playlist would work. The reason why I'm saying it's not very long is because that means it was the same 30 minutes like every time. All right, there is the, there is the sea bat story. Too long, didn't read. Made a Reddit post and finished her. This guy, assuming it's true, literally had him, like his girlfriend broke up with him because of a Reddit post. That is such an L, but it is so funny. Maybe I'm revealing too much how the sausage is made and maybe this will be uncomfortable, but I'm just going to be honest because maybe there's someone who's fat in chat who this will help.
here's how my brain functions nearly every day. Maybe this is depression. Maybe I'm just lazy. Every night I'll lay in bed and this is pretty much every single night without fail. Very rarely is this not the case. I'll go, holy shit. Why did I binge eat right before bed? Why did I eat so much sugar right before bed? Why did I order that food when I said I wouldn't? Tomorrow's going to be a better day. I got this. In fact, I get, I'm going to fucking kill it tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be so fucking easy because I got this. I'm throwing out the candy first thing I wake up. I'm going, I'm not going to even touch any delivery apps. I'm going to eat my Lean Cuisine and I'm going to go to the gym. And I'm going to look so hot and I'm going to fuck so many times with a woman whose name is known and... And I'm going to be in shape and I'm going to live Got longer. Tits. And then I wake up and I'm depressed and I go order a burger and I eat food and I want to kill myself every day, every day, every single day. Didn't ask. I don't care. Plus you're white every single day. And, and, and it's like, why am I like this? What is wrong with my brain? I never used to be like this either. It was easy. It's, it was easy, bro. I don't, I'm not even hungry. I'm just putting food in my mouth at like 2 a.m. I'm not even hungry. What's wrong? So um, anyway, I've decided to end it all. Have a nice night, everybody. No, okay. So you why am I suck. bringing this up? Well, uh, I woke up today and I saw a post on the subreddit. This is, keep in mind, this is funny. So you may laugh, you're allowed to laugh. But it was a post from f almost four years ago now of me when I met Gordon Ramsay and I'm significantly less fat in this photo. I would wager between 30 to 30 to 50 pounds, maybe lighter. Um, and I'm gonna show it to you. And uh, granted, I will say this. Well, it's imp well, first I'm gonna show you the photo. This is on the subreddit, right here, okay? A much lighter Wubby, a skinnier Wubby. Granted, a good photo of Wubby, as in, I can I can photograph pretty well, right? Okay, hold That's on. True. Here's the problem though. Here's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I remember this. I remember I was at dinner at Hell's Kitchen with Alex. I remember this. I remember untucking my shirt that night. In fact, you can see the folds. I remember untucking my shirt because I felt so fucking fat that I didn't want to leave my shirt tucked in. Now I look at this photo and I would kill to be that way. And that pisses me off. That pisses me off a lot. It, 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 I, 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 it, I don't even know what to say about it. It, it, it is so infuriating because I streamed during, during this time too. And I made YouTube videos during this time too. And I was the fat guy. Y'all, I put this photo up and chat went, whoa, Stop. sheesh, what a Chad. Cut back to four years ago when I was streaming at this weight, I was the fat guy. And I'm saying this because I'm hoping that somebody in chat will hear what I'm saying and be like, I'm not alone. Because I reddited, I, go I typed in on Reddit, of a weight loss subreddit. And I just went to top of the week. I wasn't even looking for my specific issue. I went to top of the week and the top of the week post, the top of the week post was, I look at old photos of myself and I'm pissed because that was my goal weight. And back then I thought I was fat. I'm like, no way. This is like, this is real. People really do feel this way. So here's the thing. Uh, a couple, th first off, don't take this the wrong way. You can still make fun of me. I'm okay with it. I don't care. If I get to make fun of you guys and tell you guys to kill yourself constantly, you can make fun of me. What did, what I was like, why? <laughs> there are comments on here. What happened to him? I gained weight, dipshit. I got a lot of money and I gained a lot of weight. Is it rocket science for you, little dipshit? Okay, what happened to you? What are you doing with your life? Okay, have fun clocking in tomorrow. And another one, th this one really, I'm just like, Wubby's fat. Yeah, no shit. You're going to pull up fucking fetus photos too and be like, wow, his legs grew. Anyway, so I saw, but here's the thing. Although this post That's pissed you. me off, the photo itself was the first thing I saw when I woke up. And I looked at the photo and I was like, 
it the comments made me sad but the photo weirdly made me inspired it made it to me seem achievable because i was like wait a minute i was the like i would kill to be that weight and i look at it and i'm like i'm like damn i i can do that that was like literally where i was at a certain point this one was great uh turns out that photo was actually photoshopped here's the real photo this was just like really salt in the wound personal attack you've just shortened me and widened me bit of a drive-by you know kick a man when he's down but this i see this is okay this makes me laugh this is better than what happened I, you want me to explain in detail what happened? I ate, my calorie intake was higher than my calorie output. Okay? So yeah, this is the original photo. Short and wide. Not even fat, just stretched. Very strangely. Anyway, my point is, um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's frustrating to, like, and I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just being honest with you guys because, um, because I, 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 I want to, one, I want to, let someone out there who may be going through what I'm going through know that they're not alone. Brother, hold yourself accountable. All right, wait, I'm getting there. But two, I'm mad that like, I'm mad that I didn't see myself as good back then. And I'm worried that that contributed to why I also let myself go so much. It's so, it's so, it's like, it's frustrating. It's frustrating to look back at myself and I hand a God looking at that photo i know where i was in my life and i thought i was a fat piece of shit it's it's frust i'm i'm mad at myself i'm mad because if i would have just had the self confidence back then i may have easier been able to maintain that weight but i hated myself back i legitimately i was like oh god i'm so fat i remember untucking that shirt and I also remember my belt was, I remember it because I was wearing pants with a belt and I remember wanting to get out of the dinner quickly to go change because it was digging into my belly. And I remember thinking, oh, I'm so fat. It's crazy. And now I look at that and I would pay a million dollars to go back to that. Anyway, so that being said, I'm not just gonna sit here and bitch about it. Um, t tonight after stream, I'm not gonna say what time, but uh, I'm, I'm forcing myself to go to the gym with my, the entire, I've, I've already told the San Diego friends who live in San Diego about it. And I'm like, Alex, you have permission to kill me if I don't go. So I will be going, I'll post proof on the subreddit if you want, I don't care. Um, but I want to go tonight, but that doesn't even matter because I want to make sure I keep going. I want to talk to you guys about how I can hold myself accountable because to the retards in chat who are sitting here saying who cares cry more hey dipshit open your fucking ears for once okay you fucking moron i'm not sitting here woe is me giving money i'm saying how can i put myself in a position where i'm accountable you see what i'm saying okay i'm not sitting here oh help me no okay i let myself go i'm disappointed i love the way i used to look seeing that now not only makes me sad but it inspires me i'm being very open with you something you probably struggle with because you don't have a good relationship with your father okay i'm sitting here how do i get held accountable i'm trying to be accountable by being open and talking to you guys about it i don't even want to be jacked i don't want to be superman i don't want to be goku i want to be wubby from three years ago and wubby from three years ago indulged that's what blows my mind and is so frustrating what be from three years ago indulged he was chilling use chat as accountability so here's let me let me tell you what i'm doing differently this time as a me already trying to be uh held more accountable i'm trying to make it so the fomo thing to do would be not going to the gym let me explain i've already i've never tried this by the way uh in my current group of friends when i used to work out all the time in high school part of the reason it was easy to go is because if you didn't go you were the one friend not going with the group and it was you'd get shit on you get a shit you get shamed right so with my new group of friends straight i'm not talking like outside of high school like peanut carlos ash alex like the san diego group I messaged in the group chat today and I was like, hey guys, I'm going to the gym tonight and I'm going to see if it looks like a good gym for all of us. And if it is, we should all go. And all of them were like, fuck yeah, let's do it. So I'm hoping we can all go. And then that way, because you know, when I'm sitting at home, I'm on discord with them, we're playing games together. If you're the one who gets out and goes to the gym, there's FOMO, low key there's FOMO. But if we're all going to the gym, 
I feel like there'd be less FOMO. Maybe, I don't know. It used to work for me in high school. 110% it worked for me in high school. Every time you skip the gym, you have to give subs. Uh, money wouldn't do it. I think the only thing that would hold me accountable would be like logging my hours to present to chat. I would, I mean, I could do that. I could get like a Google doc or something, but I want, I just, I'm being honest. I want to be held accountable because I'm too weak. I can't do it. I'm, I'm too, I get to everything. I get to whatever the excuse you want to say it is. I, I'm, I'll just make it easy. I'm too weak. I'm too mentally weak to drag myself when I'm feeling lazy, you know, no sex. If no gym. Okay. Then, then no sex. I'll come into a blanket. See, I'm already out that game. Put your weight on the screen. <laughs> okay, so here's the problem. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be upfront with you guys. I'm just being honest today. I don't wanna put my weight on the screen right now because I'm embarrassed to put my weight on the screen. I don't want my weight on the screen. I, you know what I'm saying? I could go weigh myself now. I know where I'm close to, but I don't want it on the screen. And you know what I love is that people putting huge strings of numbers in chat. That blows my mind. That's great. What a thank you. I am 15,000 pounds. We know you're big. It's okay. All right, dude, post your weight on the screen. Jesus Christ. You'd probably be voice cracking just speaking to this many people, bro. Why are you so much better than me? You're not. Oh, I almost just really screamed something mean. You should do workout streams. <laughs> that, that stresses me out in a way that I can't even begin to explain. Anyway, um, I'm going tonight. I'm going tomorrow. I want to go minimum five days a week. I used to do that. No problem. Uh, and I, that's not too much to ask. I don't think start slow. I, I know how to start slow. I, I know how to work out. I do. I'm no fucking expert. I'm no fucking, any, but I've worked out enough uh, to understand how to work out. I know how to work out. I know how to pace myself. I know all that. Um, shirtless pick every day. What the fuck? <laughs> what would that accomplish? You have the money and the time. This is exactly why you need a personal trainer. That makes me so awkward, though. Personal trainers fucking scare the shit out of me, dude. They're great for accountability, though. Here's the problem, though. I plan on working out at, like, very late. I'm talking between 10 and 2. Those hours are when I would Mitch enter the gym. To twist them non you see what I'm saying? That's unhealthy. Ago, Webby seven. So here's the th reason why it's not is because times, that's when I'm awake. I'm, I don't go to bed till like 5 or 6 a.m. So it's like midday for me. It's, it's, um, I am your PT done. You know what? If so, it, I would, I, I would, I would be down with some having to check in with somebody. I kind of like that goal. I like the idea of having to check in with somebody. Not how it works. I ain't changing my sleep. Listen, guys, anything's better than what we're at. Post progress. Hey, you know what, Wubby? You're doing great and you're working hard. And I'm honestly proud of you. And you need to keep it uh, keep it up the good work that you're doing because you're doing a lot of good work. A lot of people check in with me. I'm your guy. Me, a random person in your chat. Blue Ninja Duck, thank you for the five. Okay, well, either way, I've shared with you some feelings. I hope... I believe in myself. I know it's possible. I do feel like I've tried to lose weight many times on this stream before. The only difference I'm feeling now is that uh, I really had a, a moment to myself today of like, God damn, like what the hell was I thinking back then thinking I was a fat piece of shit? Okay, so that's where I'm at. And, uh, and like, I know how to eat right. I'm bad at it. I, the real end of story why I'm so fat, two things, inactivity and really, really my biggest problem is late night binge eating. That's it. That's my biggest problem is, you know, winding down, chilling. Man, this movie would be so much better with just fucking shit in my mouth, metaphorically. So just stop eating. Oh, my. Where's my phone Hello, mom. Yeah, I'm not fat anymore. Yeah, no. Yep, yep. I stopped eating. Yeah. Okay. Love you too. Bye-bye. It's that simple. Holy shit. Here's the thing, man. Everybody has their fucking vice or whatever you want to call it. Everybody's got their thing. And I'm, I'll am i be the first to say I don't have any real issue with like any sort of addiction to anything. I've done many different kinds of drugs. I've, I've, I've drank i've smoked i've done everything and i have apps like it those don't affect me in that way like at all uh i'm very lucky in that sense i really truly am lucky in that sense um 
but food it gets me and everyone in chat high and mighty for not having a binge eating snack problem congrats you probably have something that you gravitate towards maybe it's healthier and i'm jealous of that i'm trying to replace my eating habit with a love for the gym i want to replace that habit i'm trying so anyway that's where i'm at i just wanted to air that all out and uh i'll see you at the gym tonight expect my selfie sometime early this morning i have a story to tell you i have been suffering in silence and i'm, I'm it's finally time to share my truth with my audience Okay, for the past 72 hours, I have bit my tongue in silence and I will no longer be silenced as I come forward. I was abused. Didn't I ask. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on the story. I have to, I, ha I took photos. I have receipts. Give me a second. I, uh, I got my Reddit account, my main Reddit account that I use to moderate my Reddit, to post comments, to reply to people to remove porn, to remove garbage. That Reddit account, uh, I'm the most active mod on my own Reddit, by the way. That Reddit account got banned three days ago and I have not said anything about it because I didn't want people knowing that the most active mod on the subreddit was now gone. I didn't tell anybody and it worked because nobody went crazy. For the record, before you go uh, running to Reddit, I am only talking about it today because I am unbanned. But for 72 hours, Reddit uh, did not reply to me and they kept me locked up. What is that song? Locked up, man, I'm trapped inside. Locked up, thinking of suicide. Locked up, man, I'm trapped inside a body that isn't mine. It's a little Nuka Zeus for you there. What happened? Oh, I can't wait to explain it. So I took some screenshots because I knew it would all be gone in three days, but I wanted to show you. All right, so here's what I get. Boom. Okay, and what does this mean for my Reddit account? Just let me land, okay? This story does go somewhere. I'm like, what the fuck? Why did I get you banned? Suck. I can't upvote, I can't downvote, I can't remove posts, I can't ban people, I can't comment, I can't do anything. So I was like, Sh okay, this isn't good. What happened? So I clicked the suspended thing. It's not very clear. I'm not too sure why I got banned. Uh, I go to my email and there's an email that says that I've been suspended for violating harassment, hate speech, uh, 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 brigading, all that I, one of those that category of ban is why i got banned they didn't say specifically but they said uh so i think they figured out that i'm really fucking racist no uh so they linked to a post as to as proof of of me being um uh one of those things hate speech whatever it was so let me share that post with you guys now uh if you remember a few, I think it was last week, a few days ago, we had a, a game we played on stream. And whenever we play games on stream with chat, we usually either use Discord or Reddit to organize people. Reddit if we need them to submit photos and Discord if we need videos, right? So we did a game where my audience would submit photos of a group shot of themselves and we would have to guess who the fan is in that group, okay? We announced it on stream and then Booty, puts up a thread on the subreddit and in that thread he gives very clear details this isn't our first rodeo by the way we've done games like this many times tiny brain kayla thank you so much i can't make fun of you it might be hate speech in that thread it says hey submit your photos in this thread please just put a spoiler tag with the answer so we know uh what the answer is without it getting spoiled and submit your photos here okay my community i'd say 25 percent of you uh are legitimately brain dead uh, you, you have something seriously wrong with your mental capacity. And within seconds of that post going up, we had about eight different people submit their photo outside of the thread, which clutters up the subreddit, which makes it makes it very difficult to monitor and figure out what's what and why is this photo here? And I, everything was supposed to be in the thread. It was clear as crystal. So in order to get everyone back into the thread, I went to those uh, posts and told people, quit fucking posting here, post it in the thread. The post that got me banned is right here. Uh, here we have Fawn Squirrel, who posted a photo of themselves in a friend group. And there was one comment on it. It was mine. It was, uh, it was him apologizing under it. Uh, there was one other comment, it was mine. And what I said that got me banned from my own subreddit and the entirety of Reddit for three days, 
Post it in the thread, retard. The proof, by the way, of how... This is all the people I had to say it to. There was more. This is just what fit in the screenshot. Okay? Here's the same one. Post it in the thread, retard! So, here's my confusion. Here's what I want to know, Reddit. So, I submitted a ticket, and I said, Hey, I'm an influencer. This is my subreddit. Okay? I monitor it. I run it. I moderate it. I We play games through it. Okay? Somebody, as a part of my community, did something incorrect, and I corrected them. I guarantee that person does not feel targeted. I encourage you to reach out to them. Can you please tell me specifically what part of my message was either hate speech, racism, uh, brigading, any of that, p doxing? Can you please tell me what it was? If it's the word retarded, I would really like to know if we can use the word retarded on their platform because I'm pretty sure you absolutely still can on Reddit, judging by how I've seen literally... Oh, the, I saw, I was on Reddit yesterday just watching people die. Okay, so I, where's the line? Yes, you can. Okay, so then here's the thing. Here's the other thing that was a little concerning. I'm not trying to say nothing, but the photo that the photo that was submitted in this thread here that got me banned, the, the fan was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was a black guy. What, did Reddit think I was being racist? You might be saying, Wubby, that's a reach. I know! I just want an answer! I have no clue! I, I literally, I was sitting here, I'm going, this guy doesn't feel attacked. Nobody feels attacked. I don't feel attacked. What happened? So they never, I, I submitted that thing to Reddit. I, in details, like, please reach out to them, reach out to me, let me know. If you still think what I did was wrong, can you tell me? Uh, also, if what, if what I did was supposedly so horrible, all of these comments are still up. None of these, this is what's really confusing. I said this like six different times. None of these got banned. They're still up. So why is this one not racist or doxing, but this one is? It's so frustrating too, because for three days, I just couldn't use my Reddit and I, I had to sit there. I'm like, oh, there's p someone posted, a bot posted porn on my Reddit. I guess I'll just let it happen. Move on and tread lightly. Suck my fucking dick, nerd. I'm not mad at Reddit. I'm saying, can you explain? It could have been reported. I'm sorry, but that's also a problem. So a single or even maybe five people, I don't know, could report that comment. And that's enough to get me a three day ban with no communication. What? And, and what for? I mean, really, can I not call my own audience retards? I can't do that on my subreddit. I wanna be clear here. I'm not saying campaign, fuck Reddit. Blah. I'm saying, hi, I'd like to continue using your platform. Could you please make the rules clear to me? Because just in this one screenshot, they're not clear. And I'm pretty sure that the dude who posted this more than is okay with, oh uh, shit, you're right, I fucked up. Let me post it in the thread, I am a retard. Mass reports. Who the fuck? This dude, this post had zero upvotes and I removed it. What do you mean mass report? Nobody gave a fuck. This wasn't like a, ha ha, it's time to dogpile. I was like, hey, hey retard, the thread's over here. Please post it in the thread, okay? You're being an idiot. Oh, my fault. He ended up posting it in the thread actually as well. Yeah, because he wasn't mad. He didn't give a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. Who cared about this? You were reported for spam? Uh, no. I, well, it, maybe I was, but I didn't get banned for spam. Reddit Reddit said that I was banned for... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You have been banned for three days for uh, violating Reddit's rule against harassment. I had to look up their, that's what I looked up. It wasn't the, the thread. It was, it was, what do they define as harassment? Bro, if they think like, here's, okay, here's what I also don't understand, right? That got me a three day ban. That got me a three day ban. The amount of shit that gets thrown my way in a typical Reddit hate thread and none of those motherfuckers are getting like, what? it was infuriating. And I sent a message and I was like, okay, this will, you know what? It's fine. It's the weekend. It'll be solved probably by Monday, Tuesday, the latest. Nope. The full ban went through and I never heard a single thing back from Reddit. There's an entire subreddit called OK Buddy Retard. So the ban is insane. <laughs> That's actually, I forgot about that. I know about that. That's so true. It's because you're an influencer. The only reason I said that, cause I'm like, hey, I'm not just some random guy spamming here. I'm the dude that this post was created for on a subreddit that was created for, right? There, I'm not some random like, hey, retard, stop, da, da, da. I'm that guy. I think Wall Street Bets had something about their use of the word retard though, because they all say regarded now. No, is Reddit really gonna ban us from saying retard? Listen, if they do, okay, let me know. I wanna know if we can say it. 
Can we just, can the top, well, actually, is this brigading? Can I brigade my own subreddit? If a post that just says retard with a subtext retard makes it to my subreddit right now, I will upvote it. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, guys, listen, I love you to death. You guys mean so much to me, but this is not what we wanted. <laughs> This a lot. This a lot of it. This is too, and you can't even figure out which one you want to upvote. This is too much, guys. Okay, don't do that. I am hereby officially condemning these actions. <coughs> Inshallah, Hamza, Allah. It's the whole subreddit. Do not check new. Well, time to check new. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going. I'm pressing new and re wow. Wow, there's a wow. Oh, this one just says removed. That's funny, dude. Holy shit. I can't stop. Okay, for real though, re uh, chat. This might actually get us banned. Stop. With peace and love, moderators. With peace and love. Please stop. You fucked up. You gotta do this. See, what's funny is Reddit, the people who frequent Reddit, uh, my subreddit, they have this little community. It's fine. It's cute. Sometimes they're nice. What they don't realize is if I'm ever live and I just say, everyone go check this out, it fucking destroys the small ecosystem that my Reddit builds. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to stop talking about Reddit right now in hopes that everything gets back to normal. Literally, the front page is almost all the word retard. Guys, please. <laughs> you know, any Reddit... <laughs> Hey, why? Come on. Why'd you add a photo of me on one of them? That's fucked up, dude. This is one of the top posts. It just says retard, and it's this. What I ate for dinner? When? Last night? Fuck. I don't remember. Oh, you know what? I don't want to say. I just remembered. <laughs> Yesterday was a bad day for me, okay? Yesterday got a little wild. I said, you know what? I will have Wetzel Pretzel for dinner. <laughs> okay, let's watch this fucking child porn. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for gathering here today. It is with, with, it is with a heavy set of balls and a somber heart that we have to put to rest once and for all the G Fuel sponsorship. You might be asking yourself, Wubby, what happened? What happened? Well, allow me to tell you. G Fuel did not end its partnership with me. I ended my partnership with G Fuel. It's true. It's true. Bro, why? I'll explain. But first, let me lower this fucking radioactive lead into its grave. All right, before I get into it, let me call Alex real quick. Can I say all the things they did wrong? Uh, that's up to you. It, it, do, if you want me to be real, then other sponsorships viewing this might not want to sponsor you if you... Bad mouth the sponsor so, you just ended so with. What is this like Hollywood style? Keep your mouth closed, Weinstein shit. What's you do whatever. That? I'm saying you do whatever you want. I just don't know how. I know, well, what kind of world are we living in where where it's like keep your mouth shut if you want to work in this industry again? Like what? How about just like I don't know, play like don't suck. Well, shit. If it was that, then you'd have a lot more sponsors. No, okay, G Fuel <laughs> did not rate me. <laughs> I think Chat spent a lot of money on G Fuel. So I think that it's it's fair to give them something, right? Now, I'm not going to bash G Fuel. G Fuel's a big brand, and they take care of people that I like. I'm a fan of some of the people they sponsor, and good for them, and God bless them. And their product, I have no issues with. I like G Fuel. I like the taste. I like their shakers, okay? That being said, um, let, me, let me get rid of this buzz real <laughs> Because I don't have one yet, we'll just do Christmas bus for the time being. Okay, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. I'll just say this. Okay. G Fuel didn't do anything. And Alex, you'll be, you can be on the call for this just so you can interrupt me if I'm being stupid. All right. Okay. I have no... I, I We're not ending on bad terms. I don't hate G Fuel or anything like that. But as you guys know, we had a, uh, we had a shaker with them. I think that unfortunately for G Fuel, they've spread themselves a little thin. And as a result, when you spread yourself thin, things get a little mismanaged. The person who was working for G Fuel, who represented G Fuel to us, they were our main point of contact, was a huge fucking moron. 
And I think G Fuel would agree. Alex, am I mistaken in that that person's not even with G Fuel anymore? Well, here's the thing. Some of them, we've had two different people. The first one was not good. The second person was better, but G Fuel did have a bunch of controversy about just letting go all of their partner reps. Right. So even They're... people that were good, they let go. Right. But the person we had sucked. And I'm going to give you just a little thing. And I don't think this represents G Fuel. I'm talking about a person right now. Okay. Um, but essentially we sold, we had that shaker when we launched and you guys know it sold out instantly and we were really, really excited and we're like, holy shit, we need to get more shaker cups up ASAP because, uh, we wanted to sell more, more people wanted them. And our rep, uh, how long did it take our rep to respond to that? Alex, we were live. Multiple we sold days. out in 20 minutes and he responded when? Uh, multiple days. I, I, met, I pinged multiple him every day, later. like multiple hours a day. We were like, hey, we're live. They sold out. Let's get more. Didn't respond. Days go by. Doesn't respond. Alex is pinging every day. Hey, what happened? People are wanting to buy this. And to this day, they have never restocked the shaker. They have never um, uh, offered any th sort of flavor, any sort of anything. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot of, uh, a lot also of... Uh, um, promised a lot of things with the first rep, like a flavor and things. We were promised a lot to sign like, with them. Actually, and th we fired them instead. <laughs> yeah, so we got promised a lot to sign, and then the yeah. dude who signed us got fired, and they were like, everything he told you was a lie. Yeah. And you guys can imagine, I'm sitting there in calls being told this shit, and I'm like, I need to tell the audience. And it's like, no, 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 you can't. You cannot tell the audience yet. We, we need to keep this part. It's, it's a good sponsorship. We'll work it out. Da, da, da. And it's frustrating. It's so hard. Um, so I want to be clear. I wasn't the best person to work with either with G Fuel. I'm late on delivering deliverables. I didn't put out a tweet when I should have this, that, maybe, whatever. I don't know. It's fine. I'm not mad. They're not mad. That being said, there is a hole now in my heart for some sort of, uh, some sort of product that I need to sip on during stream. And, uh, well, let's just say maybe on Sunday during uh maybe on sunday during media share maybe there'll be something you guys can check out okay that's all i'm saying that's i'm not saying nothing I, oh i'm not saying nothing but maybe this sunday i've been in talks with some people who say they're gonna take care of me who like the content who started as fans who like the audience maybe yeah, we could all sip on uh, something else you know something similar here, I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. I got introduced to this person from Chad. I'm loyal to G Fuel. Anything else is a no-go. All right, here's my, here's my comment on that. That's a fair, that's fair. We all got brand loyalty, okay? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna open your eyes a little bit. Here's what I'm gonna say. You can be loyal to G Fuel all you want, but just keep in mind, G Fuel is not loyal to you. They do not give a shit about you, okay, brother? You know what they give a shit about? Their bottom line. So go ahead. Go ahead. Be brand loyal, you little sheep man. That's fine. That's, enjoy. All right? We're going to be over here with the boys, partying it up with our new, cool, hot chick, big titty, blonde brand that launches on Sunday. All right? You can have fun with your brand loyalty. Go ahead. I'm going to be hanging out with the boys. All right? To be fair, by the way, I dropped G Fuel. I'm the one who, who dropped G Fuel, and I dropped it. And I'm taking, let's just say this. I am taking less money with a new brand because I like the way that they are talking to me. I like the way that they're communicating with me. I like the way they're interacting with me. I feel like we're working together instead of I'm working for them. You can support whoever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. I'm just telling you why I jump. I'm getting less money. I'm going to be getting objectively less money by doing this. Why, but why am I doing it then? Because I think it's a better relationship. Dude, I have no way. I don't even know how to contact G Fuel. Getting in contact with G Fuel was so difficult. I, I really don't. I, I, G Fuel probably fucking hates me for even talking about this. But like it, the, the reality is I'm not even embellishing anything. I'm not. It's just like, hey, I'm leaving G Fuel. I owe it to my audience to give a little bit why. I prefer this other brand. They're working with me more closely. I feel more connected to them. Uh, I'm getting paid less. What more do you want, right? I'm just being honest. I'll support any brand you work with. I'm upfront with you guys. 
you know you guys know when i'm doing i'm doing one of those brand deals and i'm like hey this mobile game will save your grandma from hospice and then there's the other like brand deals that i do where i'm just like no this shit's sick trust me you guys can tell i'm upfront with you okay make your own decisions don't follow me blindly you know you know i'm honest well are you dropping a shaker on sunday uh i am not dropping a shaker on sunday but just bear with us that's all i'm gonna say well i can't think of a better way to to launch a brand new sponsorship with gamer subs than a little bit of 9 11. we picked the best launch day officially i am partnered and working that's with true. my boys uh, gamer subs, okay? Let me tell you how the sponsorship, this partnership is going to be working. All right, we're starting slow. We're building up and uh, things, fun things are on the horizon. This is, this is, by the way, this is how he wanted to do things, okay? The guy I work with, say retard a lot. Retard, 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 retard. Uh, gamer subs, by the way, very cool, very lax. They don't give a fuck. They love the content. They work with, you know, Max Mofo and, and anything for views. They're here for the content. They're here for a good time. Okay. So let me explain real quick. Now, I will be wanting you to buy a shaker when we have one drop. Okay. But that's not where we are today. Where are my poverty boys in chat? Where are my, where are my poverty boys? Where are you guys at? Okay. Today, if you click the link down below, okay, or just go to gamersubs.gg slash wubby, you can get a free sample pack. If you want a recommendation of mine, because the sample pack is only three flavors. I'm not sure which three it is. You can see it on the site. There it is. It's showing people's orders here on the bottom left of my screen. He has a, it's set up to where it shows orders as they come in. I think that's very cool. Uh, let me give you a recommendation of mine. Uh, and I wouldn't, so full disclosure, this is an ad. I'm paid to say this, all that shit. That being said, that doesn't mean I'm not going to go find a flavor I actually like. Uh, or I'm not going to do that, which is what I did. So here's my real recommendation. You may not like it, but it's for me. Okay, this is not Booty's favorite. This is not Alex's favorite. This is my favorite. I like the peach tea. The peach tea, and I know I shouldn't say this, it tastes just like the, the, the peach snapple that I used to drink every day. I used to have a bottle of diet peach snapple at my desk every single day at work. Okay, this tastes exactly like it. All right. There is guacamole, uh, a penis, whatever it is. You can try that. I suggest you want to try all that shit. Go for it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna rag on G Fuel for a second here. G Fuel, you can suck the thickest part of my penis, which is um, my balls, because fucking, fucking, uh, I don't know what, why G Fuel does this, but they're like, we can't do all over prints. That's why my G Fuel shaker, the print is like this big on it. And Gamer Sub's like, yeah, we can do that, no problem. No problem. This is a Gamer Sub's cup. I'd like to point out to you, this all over print. Yeah, it's getting green screen out, but it's still fun. Why, G Fuel, why? Why couldn't you, idiots? Hello? Gamer subs can. That's all that matters. No lead. No, here's the, okay. Before we get into it, try it for free. All right, have fun. There will be some Wubby products in the future. Show them you guys are interested by trying it. Try a couple flavors. There's no lead. Not saying any other companies have lead. Not gonna make any allegations, but I can confirm this has no lead. Not making, I'm not pointing any fingers. Okay. <gasps> Can I tell you a story real quick? My dad, who is Middle Eastern, by the way, and it's funny because I get the best of both worlds, right? I get to hear Middle Eastern tales and things that like you wouldn't hear just growing up to a normal white family. So I get that side of things. But then because I'm very white and pale looking and I just am a complete white dude, I also get shit on for having any sort of opinion at all that's Middle Eastern related. So I get the best of both worlds. It's actually really cool. So anyway, I went to my dad's house to pick up some um, uh, some board games that I had left there. Uh, ASAP got arrested. Oh my God, I, do, I don't think I care at all. And my dad's telling me, my dad's dating. My dad's in the dating game now. And he told me I could share this story. Actually, he didn't, but I'm gonna share it anyway. He told me I could share a different story that I'm probably not even gonna share. But basically, uh, 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 this my dad's dating another Middle Eastern woman. I'm not gonna say what country they're both from, but they're both he, they're two Middle Eastern people who came to the United States. Okay, she came more recently. You she suck. got she bailed out the Middle East twenty ish years ago. My dad bailed out the Middle East fifty forty ish years ago. Okay, so my dad grew up here uh, since a teenager, 
And this lady came here in her like 40s uh, and she brought her kids from the Middle East with her. They're all grown up now. They're all in their 30s and 40s. My dad and this woman, they're in their like 50s and 60s dating just to give you some context because you'll hear kids when I refer to people, but they're not children. They're adults now. These are old people. And by the way, I had this weird moment where my dad was telling me about her kids. And he's like, yeah, her kid is 40. And I'm like, ugh, that's so old. And then I'm like, I'm almost 30. Anyway, the point is my dad was saying that he's gone on a few dates with, with a few Middle Eastern women. And uh, this one that he's on a date with is, is divorced. She had kids. She's divorced. And... Because of their cultural differences, my father is having to be very slick and hidden around the fact that she's dating because she would be shamed and shit on for dating after a failed marriage. She is not, she is, she, and, and let me tell you, and I got so mad. I got so mad. And I was like, I'm like, I'm a, I'll beat the shit out of anybody. I'm like, seriously, you're, you're having to hide that you're dating this woman because, okay, so get this. Her kids, her kids, I'm not going to say how many kids she has. I don't want this person to even know I'm talking about them. Her kids who are grown up and married, one of them is like, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. it. I don't want anything to do with you dating at all. Don't tell me about it. And I'm like, why? And they're like, that's eh, a cultural thing. And I'm like, then fucking change. What do you mean? It's 2022. Grow up. What do you fucking mean? It's a cultural thing. You, is it a cultural thing that women are just second class citizens? What do you mean? It's a fucking cultural thing. If mom wants to date, mom can date. Hello, dude. I, I was so mad. I'm like, what do you fucking mean? It's a cultural thing, bro. The noise gate. Is it working? I'm not going to put on a, on a, a, a LSL filter because I'm not saying anything that's untrue. My Middle Eastern father is dating a Middle Eastern woman and he, she's taking phone calls from her kids and she's like, I can't have them knowing I'm on a date right now. They, more specifically, hold on, get this, get this, get this. <clears throat> One of them is like, I don't want anything to do with it. Don't tell me about it. I don't want to hear about it. I'm not interested. Okay. The other one. Another one of these kids is married to another Middle Eastern person, and they're like, don't let my spouse know that they will not be pleased. Do not. They cannot find out. I cannot have them finding out. It will not go well. And I'm like, what the fuck? What is wrong with these fucking people? I'm like, were you raised in a fucking cave? I was like, literally, though, what is wrong with you people? I'm sorry, but any listen, we sit here in the United States and we fight over pennies with cultural issues. And over there, they're over they're over here it's so I can't like the are women not people? Oh, like what? You putting clowns in chat? What do you what am I saying that's clownish? It's really I, and listen, it just it it broke my dad wasn't like, "Oh, woe is me." My dad was like, "Yeah. Yeah." But it broke my heart for my dad. I was like, "Fuck that." Fuck them. I'm like, are you kidding me? That is you. That is wrong. What is wrong with these motherfuckers? I don't get it at all, bro. It's their culture. It's how they were raised. I'm sorry, but if you've been living in the United States for 20 years, you have no excuse. If you're thir one of them is 33 years old. That means they came here when they were 13. You have no excuse. That's 20 years of you in your teens, early 20s and early 30s. What is your excuse? And then you want, and people want to sit here and say, dude, that's, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm putting my foot down. I'm putting my foot down. It's the culture. It's the culture. Okay. Are you a thinking adult with a functioning brain? Then you can take in new information. All right. It's the culture. I've, my opinions have changed over the years so many different times. It's okay. You're living in the United States now. It's time to put women on the same level as men. It's time. It's time. Sorry, mom got married and wants to date. It's time to let her because she's a human being with blood pumping through her veins. Hello? Is this rock? Like, I'm sorry. Are people defending otherwise? Hello? Hello? Anyway, because I'm like, dad, what? I'm like, what? It like, can we? I'm like, what do you think that is? And he just he kept saying, oh, it's culture. It's culture. I'm like, well, stop hiding behind that. Culturally, what? Women are less. Is that the culture? Anyway, anyway. Sorry, I had to go on that rant. My dad did take her to dinner. This is, a, this, is the, this is the story he gave me the sign off on to tell. My dad took her to dinner and he took her to Fogo de Chao, Brazilian steakhouse, right? Super, he was so excited and I'm happy my dad took her there. 
he goes in and he goes oh reservation for two and and they all oh, right this way and he's walking through and the entire place is empty completely empty and he notices there's wine bottles everywhere and it looks italian and and the, the girl the woman he's with on a date with is like uh this kind of looks italian and my dad <laughs> i copium trying to save face goes oh uh, you know brazil had a, a, a colonies in italy and portugal he's like it makes sense like it makes sense it would be like this this is this is folks to chow it, it makes sense <laughs> So they sit down and, and again, the restaurant is empty and my dad had to make reservations for it. So he's like, I guess the reservation was just a fake out. So they sit down and they're looking through the menu and everything is in Italian and it's all pasta. And he got the waiter comes by and he goes, is this Foga de Chow? And they're like, no, that's across the street. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, holy shit, dad, you are like actual old man boomer energy. You like that is something that confused old people. Where, where am I? What is this, huh? Where am I? <laughs> He's so cute. It was, it is adorable. It was funny. They almost got him again, dude. Did they get up? They did. They went up and they went to Fogo de Chao. And funny enough, my dad, who is an older man, got to give it to an older guy, not sexually, but he got to make fun of an older guy because when they were eating at Fogo de Chao. An even older man came up and sat down at their table and just started eating. And they were like, oh, my dad, very nice. Been in customer service for like 50 years. Oh, sir, sir, I, I, this isn't your table, I think. And the old man, huh? What? Huh? His wife came over. She's now as confused. The waiter comes over. You're not sitting here. Huh? And it's just, it's just funny how I was making fun of my dad and my dad got to make fun of this old guy. And this old guy is just on Mars. What the fuck's going on in San Diego? Too much salt in the air. It dries us out. We, come, we become raisin prune leather people.